Namaste everybody. My name is Yogi Vivek Rawat and I am your pranayama teacher. We are going to learn the pranayama techniques, the different breathing techniques in pranayama sessions. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn new things. Namaste. Namaste to all of you. Once again welcome back. Let's again commence this session with the chanting. So sit comfortably on your mat or wherever you are. Join your palms together. Widen your elbow. Be comfortable. Be relaxed. Focus on your breathing. Inhale. Start rubbing your palms, palms on the eyes, bring the palms down, gently open your eyes. Now today we are going to talk about Shitli or Shitkari Pranayama, which are very beautiful, which are very, you know, amazing practice and it is one of my favorite because I always love to perform Ashtanga. And Ashtanga, since Ashtanga is quite intensive, so towards the end of the practice, one of the, the techniques of Pranayama is this one, which I always love to practice. So Shitli or Shitkari, which is also known as Cooling Pranayama. In Hindi, this Shit means coolness. So we are providing the coolness to our system. So why it is important? Because of there are some vitalizing pranayama, some balancing pranayama, some synchronizing pranayama. So now there is cooling pranayama as well. The benefits of this beautiful technique is it always like cools down your body. If you are feeling that intensive energy, the domination of that intensive energy in your body, you are feeling trouble, always perform this. It activates the parasympathetic nervous system which is responsible for your rest and digest mode. It reduces any kind of anger, stress. If you are feeling depression, just practice this and some other techniques as well. It improves the skin quality. You will definitely, your skin will be more bright. You perform it daily. It helpful in ulcers as well. Since it reduces the heat, so it cures the ulcers as well. It controls the appetite and thirst as well. That doesn't mean that it is going to make your appetite and thirst like low and it is going to create problem. It is not about that. But sometimes when uh, it is hard to find water, maybe you are uh, stuck in that kind of situation. It is very helpful. It, it will reduce in like in a certain point, the thirst and your appetite in a certain point. So that you will not be struggling that much. It reduces any kind of fever. It you know it gives it provides you a deep satisfaction after the practice. It, it is like it is a very best thing to do towards the end of the practice along with Brahmari. So that you are bringing the balance. Firstly you started with the vitalizing pranayama. Then uh, firstly with the balancing then vitalizing. Then you know these kind of cooling pranayamas. And then you are making a flow combination so that... Ultimately, you are feeling calm, silent. So the contraindications are not much because this is not quite intensive. And if you perform it till a point, like till a certain point, it has not that kind of contraindications. But if you are doing just this or uh, you are only doing this for a lot of... See, these contraindications sometimes are... For if you are performing only that kind of particular practice for a long time, like you are performing it in the morning, during the daytime, evening and at the night, only you are focusing on one or two techniques more and that is like vitalizing and 
like they, that is only focusing on one aspect like balancing pranayamas are okay but like these um, cooling vitalizing pranayama heating pranayama if you are doing just this for a long time every time in the day then of course like it, it makes sense always it is going to um, you know you you'll have to have some kind of contraindications but agar uh, but if you uh, make a combination make a nice combination if you perform it step by step then of course like you will enjoy it you will gain more benefits of these techniques the contraindications are if you have already low blood pressure and if you are performing it for a long time then you have to be careful if you are performing it around the area where it is so much dust then because you are going to do it with your mouth there are no filters there same like with your nostrils with your nostrils there are filters so it may filter uh, the air but with your mouth it won't filter so be careful do not perform it around the area where it is dusty where it is like polluted right uh, so these kind of uh, contraindications do not hold the breath inside if you are feeling from like any kind of blood pressure problem do not hold the breath in for a long time we'll do it without the holding now the step to perform it how to do it the shitli and sitkari if you are not comfortable with the first one you can go with the second one so firstly sit comfortably on your mat crossing the legs adapt nice comfortable cross leg position or vajrasana and then after that keeping your spine straight shoulders rolling back chest nicely open sitting tall without any kind of disturbance towards the end it is a very good towards the end of the pranayama session now from here what you need to do in the first practice you need to take your tongue out and you need to roll your sideways of the tongue up towards each other so you are going to make a tunnel through your tongue a kind of pipe if you can use the local language you are going to create a kind of tunnel with your tongue and you are going to inhale through your tongue so the uh, you have already saliva there in your mouth so when the air will pass through the mouth through that saliva because of that condition it will filter the air into the cooling air and when that air will go down it will always cool down bring the coolness in your body so pulling the sideway of the tongue towards each other as you inhale inhale through your tongue take the tongue in hold the breath you can apply the bandhas as well jarandar bandha mula bandha then firstly release the bandha and exhale through your nose so here you can apply yogic breathing as well to increase the length of the breath to gain more benefits if your breath would not be long less air would go inside then less benefits definitely for sure so apply the yogic breathing as you inhale you are going to puff your belly out chest up and shoulders slightly up then you are using the full capacity of the lungs of the diaphragm in that way you can perform it you perform it for few rounds uh, for some people rolling the tongue towards each other it is quite a hard job so for them like there is the second practice which is known as shitkari in this one what you are going to do just keep your teeth together and separate your lips away from each other like this you can expose your teeth as well and through the teeth you are going to inhale so inhale hold and exhale so in that way you can practice you can apply the bandhas as uh depends again at what kind of um how long you have been practicing it depends on that right so the second one uh in the second one when you are exposing your teeth when you are keeping your tip of the tongue against your teeth 
then it is a bit hard. So you, you can roll your tongue back like this, rolling the tip of the tongue, sending the tip of the tongue back. So that way you will feel that you are taking more air in and you are not having any kind of disturbance between the practice, between the technique. Same like. While performing this, try not to contract your face muscles. Try not to so lift your shoulders too much high. Try not to round your spine. These kind of common things you should follow while performing these pranayamas techniques. It is quite helpful. After you perform any kind of vinyasa, hatha or any kind of asana class and towards the end, especially in the summer season. Uh, of course, like there are counter poses in um, asana class. There are inversions which always keep you calm. But again, you can perform this also or alternate nostril breathing or like bhastrika towards the end of the practice. Because of sometimes the lack of oxygen, you may feel tired after the practice. But if you perform this, you will sending more, you will be sending more oxygen in, you will be releasing more carbon dioxide out, you are cooling down your system. This is a very good uh, way to make a flow of these asanas and pranayamas as well. So that's about it, this beautiful Sitri or Sitkari. So again, let's close the session with the chanting. Sit comfortably, close your eyes. Join your palms together. Inhale. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Again, rub your palms. Place your palms gently on your eyes. Slowly, slowly release your palms down. Gently open your eyes. So meet you in the next session. Until then, enjoy. Namaste. Namaste.